Hello, this is Mike Lively from Northern Kentucky University, and this is the seventh video in a series of 12 on modeling the heart in Blender. And today, we're basically going to model the heart itself. We've done the veins and arteries, and we're going to model the bottom of the heart, extrude that up, and connect it to the veins and arteries. So what we actually need to do is get some different reference images. So I'm going to come along here to my other side and take a look at that. Let me move that out so we can all see it. I have all this in the way, and I want to get rid of it so I can bring my other reference image in. And so what I want to do is hit tab key to select everything and just I'm going to hit the, the A key I got did my selection here we go and just hit the H key to hide everything and it's gone and what we want to do is start bringing in a bottom slice and model upward and we need to basically keep these uh, parameters in mind the size is 3 the Y offset is 0.1 and the X offset is 0.8 let's bring in our new image so I'm going to bring this down a little bit so we can see what we're doing and I can hit this little icon right here it will allow me to navigate to my folder structure and I want to pull in medical slice 4 so we're going to navigate to the correct file that's in body slices here we go and 4 and hit uh, OK select image and in a moment here we'll actually we'll switch images there we go that's our new image that's our heart let me expand this a little bit so we can see it and we basically just need to uh, get the sizing right. So go to the uh, background. We're at 0 0.3, go to 0 0.1 and 0 0.8. So it kept my uh, parameters and the heart now is size. We're going to start with this bottom of the heart right here. But once again, we need to get our images changed. Let's go over to the other side. And we actually need another reference image over here. So let's go ahead and do that. And that image uh, we took earlier from Nuclear Sync's uh, video. So let's bring that in as well. So what we want to do is hit the view, bring in background, here we go, and pretty much just click right here to change that image. And we're going to go to, uh, I believe that was in uh, the reference images, and we want to get the nuclear sync uh, image. So click on image one, and hit select image here at the top, and in a few moments our image should change. And there's our new image. It's obviously too big, so let's hit our Alt Control and zoom back. And we need to get everything once again uh, lined up. So we're going to go ahead and hit the uh, Alt H to bring everything back. And let's go ahead and zoom back a little bit again. Here we go. And we can see basically things just aren't in the right place. We're going to move this image around to match that and just basically get our modeling going. So uh, come along here, we're going to basically just place the superior vena cavities, line them up and shrink everything to the portion sizes. Bring up your uh, background image. Good. And we're just shrink a few times. Uh, almost. Let's see how that is. Good. And then we're just going to do the offset a little bit. Good. And Y offset. Hey, hey, not too bad, and let's uh, focus in on that. Almost cooking with gas here. Going to bring that size up a little bit. Okay, I've been playing around with the size a little bit, and right now i got 3.4, an X offset of 0.1, and a Y offset of minus 0.8, but it still doesn't quite fit, and what I really need to do is shrink my arteries and veins a little bit. And all I have to do since everything is selected, just hit the S key, and I can shrink down a little bit. Ooh, ooh that's looking pretty good. I'm, I'm actually really happy with that. We're going to stop right there and we're going to start modeling the rest of the heart. So now let's hit the Alt um, Control key if you're on a touchpad and zoom back out. And there we go. We're going to start with the bottom of the heart. So I'll hit Shift Alt, bring that up a little bit. Good. We're going to start right down here because that's where we are with our other medical image. So let's zoom right there and start with that part of the heart. So we ran in that same old problem where we had basically two new sets of images which don't match up and we have to basically adjust them so they do. I actually went through several of the medical slices and I'm going to go back to slice uh, four and we'll start modeling from the bottom. So what I had to do is basically go back through a number of slices and make sure everything was lined up the best I could. And now I've got a uh, slice four. We're going to start from the bottom again. And you can see we're, we're lined up here. And we're going to start modeling the bottom of the heart. And I'm going to extrude up and down. Let's go back to the other image. Let's start by extruding down. Click on the screen, hit the E key, and let's extrude downwards. I'm not going to do a whole lot of extrusion here. I'm going to hit the S key, kind of close it up a little bit. Right. 
And let's move that over a little bit. Cool. And let's take a look at what we're doing on the other side. So let's move back over there. And we can see what's happening right there. Now what I want to do is I want to close that up. I'm going to do that actually on the other side. I'm going to hit the E key again on the other side. Just extrude down a little bit. And then I'm going to hit the S key and start bringing all those two, uh, points together. Hit the S key. And you can see on this side actually what's happening. I'm bringing all the points together. There we go. And now what I want to do is merge those by coming over here, clicking on the W key. And do that. Well, you can see that. The W key. And hit merge. And at the center. All 13 points. And now I have a merge. I'm going to move those over just a little bit to this side. So we're just kind of shifting those points over to the other side here. There we go. And now I'm pretty much just going to start extruding the heart upwards. So let's hit the B key to do a selection here. E key for extrusion. And we're just going to start extruding upwards. There we go. Let's expand that a little bit with the S key. There we go. And shift that over a little bit with our X shift. Good. And hit the E key again for extrusion. And extrude that up a little bit. Uh, expand that with the S key. There we go. And hit the uh, X key over. There we go. And I'm going to hit the uh, E key again. Extrude up. But before I do that, let's add another medical slice. So we'll go to the other side. Uh -huh. And pretty much just click on here. Let's add the next slice. And that slice is uh, actually image 3. Just select that and click over here. And we can see we just need to move things around a little bit to match up with image three. So let's come over here. Let's back just a little bit. There we go. And now let's continue our extrusion. So go back to the other side. So we're back on the other side with E for extrusion. And let's click to activate. Hit E for extrusion. And extrude up. And let's hit uh, the S key to expand up. Cool, 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 cool. And just slide over a little bit. Yeah, we're getting there. Hit the uh, E key again to extrude up a little bit. There we go. The E key again to extrude up a little bit. All right, hit the S key to shrink a little bit. Yeah, now we're making progress. And we're going to hit the uh, E key again to, well, actually, let's move this over just a little bit. Good. Hit the S key just to shrink that a little bit. Hit the E key to move up. S key to actually uh, shrink a little bit. Good. We're making progress. Let's bring in another medical slice. So we'll go to the other side. Hit this little folders button here. And I believe this is our last slice. This is slice two. And select that. Okay. And there's our last slice right there. And we're just going to kind of move this over to align with it. Good. And what I want to do now is I actually want to bring in the other arteries and veins so we can see where I'm lining up to them. So hit the Alt H key. And there they are. We're going to start moving those around a little bit and extruding to the right place.